There it is. The purple robe most people will remember Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu wearing. It became a uniform and a symbol in itself. It's one of the numerous artifacts, letters, photographs, diary entries, awards and video footage, among others, that's on display. A walk through the exhibit space takes one on a journey of the artist's life divided in six themes, from apartheid education, the struggle in the church, faith in action, protest and peacemaking, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, and the last 20 years of his life as a global ambassador for countless causes. It's overwhelming in its display of the horrors of South Africa as a country in the grips of apartheid. But front and center was always the voice calling in the desert for what is right. It's hoped the exhibition will inspire all, but mostly the young. To really have a core set of values that you believe in um, and that you stand by that. Um, that's what, you know, we, we, we live in a world that is lacking in leadership, um, really ethical, courageous leadership. And I think that's, that's the space where this exhibition really is, is significant, that we need to, we need to encourage young people um, to really become the types of leaders that can change the world, just like the Arch did. It took three years to build the exhibit, initially meant to be a temporary installation at the Apartheid Museum in Gauteng, its curators found it would serve a greater purpose as a permanent reflection. A partnership with the Desmond and Leia Tutu Legacy Foundation was formed and with funding from the National Lottery, the project went ahead. The role of the churches in the apartheid struggle is an aspect that curators of the exhibit say has long been ignored. This part of the liberation movement is explored through the leadership the arch provided. It's so important that his legacy is preserved and that we honour him as one of the great leaders um, in our country, not only as an anti-apartheid stalwart, but also as the kind of moral conscience of our country. Uh, we need that, that leadership of that calibre so badly, and I think Tutu still represents that, and we need to use that as a basis for education, for advocacy, um, and you know, he, he, he's a treasure. A, a national treasure um, and we, we need to, to take advantage of that. For the family, the exhibition is also part of their life stories and the loss of their father and friend is still tangible. The family is celebrating him with the rest of the world and also the love that's gone into this work. So it, 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 it's a vindication for the family that it's not just someone that people say they loved, they actually invested in sharing how deeply they loved him and how much they want to drink of his incredible legacy and share that with the rest of the world and with future generations. The exhibit is open to the public from Monday to Friday and bookings are essential. Mariska Boeta is ABC News, Cape Town.